God, all you ever do anymore is sit around and play these stupid video games. Bad. These games are not stupid. This is Call of Duty. I'm playing with real people. All I know is, ever since you got hooked into that stupid headset with all these dudes that you've never even met before, turned into this big fat blob on the couch that frankly, I can't even see it to be around anymore. We're done. I'm kind of right. I feel like a blob of crap. Ah, oh, duh! Of course you feel like a blob of crap. It's because you are! Didn't you know that only after one week of detraining can take up to four weeks of retraining to gain all that back? Uh. Ha! Of course you didn't. Oh. No worries. All is not lost for it. Takes grand total of five weeks of detraining to lose all that patience. You Better. Faster. Stronger. Wait, what? Hit the gym! Yo. Currently, you are scum. You have low muscular endurance and extremely low life exertion. A low VO2 max, you have far too much atrophy of your type 1 and 2 muscle fibers. And when there should be high pressure for you. Do you want that smoking hotness back in your life? Huh? Do you? Yes. Yes, what? Sir, yes, sir. I want the smoking hotness back in my life, sir. You're damn right you want it. What you want to have? Huh? Now without me increasing your mitochondria. My mito what? Imbecile! Your mitochondria are lungs for the cells that are fight. After 50% loss resulting from your one week of foolish games, it's going to take five weeks of training to double your current mitochondria with those. Five weeks? Five weeks! You also need to increase your mitochondrial capacity, but this is the structure that can bring all the oxygen to its much needed cells, such as your muscles. It increases your own capacity, your mitochondria, and your mitochondria will reflect an increase in your capillaries and the NADH of the shell base, which is key to the reduction of ADH. Shuttle system? Don't get excited, boy. You will not be riding any shuttle this time soon. You will be running. Running at a moderate pace. Do no weight with your reps. Swimming very slowly, biking very mild for very long periods of time. Because, as of right now, if you're in any sort of shuttle system, you would CTA movement unsuccessfully stopping at your last stop as you crash like a nuke. Put your hand to your chest, boy. My heart. Yes, what do you feel? You're beating pretty fast. <laughs> a child that told you that, you'll learn nothing. The reason for your heart beating all at the pace at which it does is due to a rise in your VO2 difference, which equates to rise in your systolic pressure, which equates to... A rise in blood flow, because of an increased preload, which is ultimately caused by an increase in plasma volume, venous return, and ventricular chamber size? <laughs> so it can be. Continue this training regimen for at least the next six weeks, and it is only then when you will start to see noticeable hypertrophy results. And then I can have the smoking hotness back in my life? <laughs> in six weeks, if you still wish to have the hotness back into your life, it should be yours. I got it. actually produced by aerobic metabolism huh. and that when you're engaged in prolonged exercise that your body actually relies more on fats than carbs for the production of ATP. That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Just about six weeks ago you dumped me just because you thought I was getting fat and enjoyed playing some Call of Duty with my friends and so I, I put down the sticks and I started training and working my butt off just to get back in shape for you. But it seems as while I was training and working out intensely, you were complaining, picking out immensely. That's right, poet, you didn't even know it. Oh, and one more thing I thought you should know. I got a new, hotter, cooler girlfriend. Not only does she like working out with me, she also likes playing Call of Duty with my friends. His name's Leslie? Oh, I need you, I can't